Pike are fierce freshwater predators with rows of deadly sharp teeth. And if you talk to any pike angler, they'll tell you if you get cut by one, you'll be bleeding for ages. So do pike have an anticoagulant coated on their teeth? If you read many fishermen's posts, you repeatedly see people talking about this mysterious property that pike have. But it appears there's no actual research or studies that have confirmed this, and it is in fact bollocks. The most likely reason you appear to bleed a lot when you get cut by pike's tooth is because your hands are normally wet and the blood is mixing with the water, so it looks worse than it actually is. The teeth are very sharp and have several rows of them, so if you do get cut by their teeth when unhooking, it's likely to be a deep and jagged cut which will bleed longer. There is also the fact that fish don't produce saliva, so the teeth wouldn't be coated in anything. I'll be honest, for years I thought this was true, but it wasn't until I started looking into it that there's actually no scientific evidence that pike have any kind of anticoagulant in their mouth. When you think about it, what would be the biological reason for pike having an anticoagulant? They engulf their prey whole in one go, so it would be pointless in that situation. And you could argue self-defense, but pike tend to swim away from most predators rather than turning around and fighting back, so that would be unlikely also. The fact is, pike don't need anticoagulant. When they grab a fish, it ain't going nowhere. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have you got a fish myth that you'd like me to debunk or talk about? Comment down below. Cheers.